What you gonna do for us, Cole? <laughs> you have poopy in your diaper some more? I'm gonna crap! <laughs> Is he looking in it? No. Oh. Look over here. Look over here. He just looks at the light. <laughs> I was trying to see if you guys are snapping fingers. Sometimes he will. I can lift my legs up, but I can't. There he is. I'm gonna give him the mohawk in the morning, I think. Mm -hmm. There you go. Good enough. Oh, did you hear that? He's been filling it up all night. It's gotta be up around his neck now, coming out of his shirt in any minute. He's pushing on me down here. I'm trying to push it out. <laughs> Get some levers to push that stuff out. Come on, push some more out. You're gonna push out up here. He's bitten up. Mm -hmm. Can you smile for Maybe us? Let me get a projectile vomit out on the lens. Can you smile for us? Come on. Mm. No, no smiles, huh? Mm. Uh, he squeezed my finger. He must be straining. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> here comes the explosion. Or is it poopy? Is that a poopy cry? I don't. Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> it may, he may play, I'm hungry. It's Are time to hungry? eat. It's time to eat, isn't it? He knows too. He's got it's his little gonna... clock. He's like, diaper. <laughs> it's been two hours and I'm hungry and I got a full diaper, Mommy. You take care of me. Time for a pit stop. That's cute. No, I, just <laughs> <laughs> I think he's time to... He needs a change or something, doesn't he? That's a grand idea. So I got a recipe. I never made this before. That's gonna be fabulous. Yeah, it ain't as good as some we've had, I think. Can you correct me even on that? Good 
pass it. Good old pass it. Mm -hmm. He hadn't got it sucking down yet, though. He puts it out too much all the time. Good old pass it. Parties, this has been richer. Mm -hmm. this, this is kind of a. Mm. Had this thing for 30 years and finally used it, huh? <laughs> I used to, maybe, maybe before I had kids, I used to use it for. <laughs> yeah, boy, y'all came along. <laughs> what, that? Mm -hmm. I love
you know, that would be a good invention for us. Have a little container on the outside, put a hole in one for a little milk in it. And you just pass in and you get a little milk in it. You mean like a bottle? Tiny bottle. <laughs> <laughs> a little tiny bottle. You know, that he could control without having to hold it. Pushing it out as hard as I'm pushing in there. <laughs> Yellow 
They can name it Phyllis. Phyllis. It could be Phil or Phyllis. Brenda. Brenda, Brenda. <laughs> Brenda. Jesse or Jessica. <clears throat>
That's like you use maybe some sugar free dill or something in there. I didn't. I, they call it. Um, what's the difference between strawberry and wild strawberry? The jello said wild strawberry. You know, there must be some, maybe, maybe. Some marketing for like, father. I don't know. I like wild strawberries. I know the Filipino ones. I wouldn't think you could get flavor out of them. No, it's just the flavor, but I don't know the difference between that and regular. They don't have the flavor to, to jello, you know, to the jello kind. Mm -hmm. I will uh, be back for dessert. We can have water. Why do you keep giving me a hard time? Then you can't see it. Then you can do it again. Right. Nipple. I'm the only thing that'll shut up. Start smiling. That's what you call nipple eyes. <laughs> There's a slight sugar free taste to it, that's all I taste. Oh really? What was it? Like a, you know, um, sweet and low taste or whatever. Oh, I hate that. That's why I'm, I'm I don't just, like that after That's, that's why even for daddy's sake I didn't get that because I hate jello. Unsweet I mean, God what do you call it? Sugar free jello has that awful aftertaste. I don't we don't like it. Mm -hmm. But so, it's like I guess it's not bad or anything. Would you like some raw vegetables, son? I mean, not right now. So this might have been sugar free, but I sure didn't mean for it, man. I don't think so, honey, because we look at it. We look at it. Yeah, because I said, go on and get it. Don't worry about the sugar free. But you did get the wild strawberry, didn't you? Wild strawberry. Huh? Mm-hmm. Wonder if I wild strawberry. Look at that cart we made. Maybe it was. Mm-hmm. Okay. Aspartame in it. I truly appreciate you guys going out getting a rim. Mm -hmm. When the snow was on it, it was wet or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was the wettest, heaviest snow I've seen. I believe it was the wettest, heaviest I've ever seen. Big old plates. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> How many birds get caught up there every day? <laughs> every day. The third one is up in here. Really? Well, this is the first one in a long time. Um, when we saw her, they evidently got away, you know. You were here when I had the hummingbird, weren't you, son? Mm -hmm. Um, no. You told me about it. Oh, okay. That little black cat chickadee having my hand like this, it's so light, I couldn't even feel it. Mm -hmm. Let him go. I just hold my hand and shut her. Look for about two seconds and then mm -hmm. zip. It's <laughs> amazing how tiny they are. Yeah, it is. And how, how in the hell, how in the world do they fly so far? And and how how do they have all that energy off of a few little seeds and stuff? Amazing to me. Mm -hmm. Their little bodies is nothing but a muscle. I love to see the birds fly, 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 and then fold up, and mm -hmm. they go zip, and they fly, fly, fly. I love to see them do that. Mm -hmm. One more goop. Mm -hmm. 
chicken is delicious. I love, you know, we didn't have turkey, y'all, because we love chicken this way, and we did very seldom have it anymore. It's fine. So we took the opportunity to have it when we had all y'all help. What do you do, just bread it and bake it? No, well, I dust it in flour, and in the flour, I have black pepper and garlic salt. Dust it in that, and then bake it. <clears throat> Sometimes I bake it without the skins, but when I do, then there's no drippings for the gravy. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is just go ahead and bake it like that and bake the chicken skins in the middle and make yeah, it good. <coughs> but this makes the chicken good and juicy. Makes the chicken nice and juicy to mm. have the skin on there. Just mm -hmm. don't need the skin. You can cover it in tin foil. Oh, I didn't thought of that. That's what I do. Yeah, I didn't thought of that. Go ahead. Cover it in Wrap it or just cover it? Just cover it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Skinless. We've done cover. that, Claire. We've done it before. I don't know. You need chicken like that, mm -hmm. put it in the oven, and then just lay the temple on top of it. I don't know if you chicken like that. And I've cooked it like that on the roof, too. No, encased in, in uh, the foil. Mm. That's it, good. Mm -hmm. Then you have a little bit of gravy, I guess. I guess you have enough to make a fat. Mm -hmm. I pour off the fat. Yeah, we did. I poured off the fat, and then what stuck to the pan, the, you know, the stuff that stuck to the pan, I'm afraid of it. But all it would pour, yeah, I pour. If you like that, we hope you take some home with you. And we've got some pear preservers for you, too. See, if, if you, you like, like that, that stuff. Leah well, doesn't do. like pears, mm -hmm. she said. You know, like a little pie rice, pie cooler thing, a little metal grate. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Little racks. Where I, I put one of those in there, put the chicken on top of it, and all the fat and stuff pours off down into it, and just pour that hot. Then you make gravy out of anything, just don't make it. <laughs> Since it was nice to be in That's a good idea. I'm glad you do that. I am too, son. That's, that's great. It's all right. I, can, I can't see my salt eating me much, but <laughs> yeah. I like cooking with the wok. Yeah. I'm not a relish type of guy. When you pickle the pears, they make relish out of it? No. Marion put the pears, we, we peeled them and chopped them up and put them in the food processor. Mmm, food processor. And then we cooked them in a pot with um, some sugar seasoning. and some pickling spice. Mm -hmm. You know, it says in the store, pickling spice. <coughs> and I guess that's it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It makes it real good. Oh, no, I, no, the oh, relish. Okay. Course, the relish has a lot of bell peppers in it and onions. So and red wow. peppers. Red peppers, onions, and bell peppers. Ground up. Also ground up in the food processor. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the texture comes out is the pears. You know, they're always so grainy. That, that type of pear. And they were delicious to eat, too. Some of them were just... If you want a fresh pear yeah. off that tree in the airstream down there, there are a bunch of them in the refrigerator. They're yeah, delicious. Where'd y'all pick them? Well, not after we'd had several hard freezes, and they just sat out there and yeah. kept month on getting right. More, month or more ago. It was in October. Was still out there? Mm -hmm. No, they finally got mm -hmm. the last ones off. But we had, went down to the 20s, and the, the tree had leaves on it and green pears, and we just kept on going back there. Yeah. We're going to get them right, you know. Well, and the, what happened was, darn it, when they'd fall on the ground, it bruised and set. Mm -hmm. And I guess 20, 25 of them they had to throw away because they were pretty oh, yeah. nice. <coughs> rock put leaves up there underneath it. We can yeah. do that. I did rock for different reasons. I don't know why. They did rock real fast. I had some of the, I had some of the Airstream. And I was going to keep it eat fresh. And they just they were going bad downhill. like mad. Yeah, they went down real quick. But the ones that are down there now are keeping for some reason. And they were just as hard on the outside when I started to feel them. They were just as hard as everything on the outside, just like there's nothing wrong with it. But when I sliced them to, to put them in the food processor, boy, they were they were gone. They were just no good. So I hadn't broke we hadn't broke the code yet on why some keep and some don't. We have peach trees. What about peach trees? We have peach you have trees. trees. You in Peach County, aren't you? And they're full of peaches too. Whenever they harvest yeah. winter. Do they get diseases? Well, they get bugs and stuff. And Do they get that they get the black. black rot? <laughs> <laughs> when we first moved to uh, Cookville Street, there was a little pear tree right there. It was loaded with wonderful peaches. A pear tree? A pear tree had peach peach tree. Peach tree. Peach tree. <laughs>
Of course, they had little worms in it, so what I had to do was pick the peaches before the worms made much progress. Mm -hmm. So I picked them and I filled the freezer full of those wonderful peaches. And you know what happened? What? Daddy threw a, nah, -uh. well, Daddy threw a pile of trash in the corner and unplugged the freezer. No. Ruined it all. <laughs> so anyway, but, but that was the only year that the peach tree, the peaches would. After, the, after that, they got that brown rot and all the peaches would just turn brown and rot. On the tree? Yeah, yeah, right on the tree. Yeah, they, they, get, they turn black. Hmm. It's funny how one year they were good and after that they weren't. Mm -hmm. No, they just didn't do anything like that. Well, uh, if, you, if you read the books like you do, you know, they say there's just so much care you have to give them. Put them and That's why it's so remarkable. Them, you know, they, they, that that year, year, mm -hmm. they did well. Yeah. No care. I Who's going to hook some next this afternoon? All these chicken scraps. Jumped on me again, she's going to be hugging some dirt. <laughs> she's like, I'm going to have that bird, she's trying to attack me. Yeah. Yeah, she, she wanted that bird. She loves to funnel those dang birds. And she is so quick. When it, sometimes we're out there trying to catch them, you know, the birds are going all over the way. She'll catch it before I can get, it'll come down this way, and before I can grab it, she's got it in her mouth. <laughs> Uh, that big old tongue, 40 inch tongue wrapped around that little bird. She eat them or she do? No, she well, won't hurt them. So far we've always got them. She might if we left them. Now she, 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 she has have, some dead ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She might have gone ahead and killed a bird. That was a dead slobber coated bird. Or well, some of them just, they look like a sponge. She's, she, but they're, they, you can tell they've been dead a long time. Well, she finds them somewhere. Well, Okay. There was one though, the little wren I told you about. She might have killed it. Oh yeah. Okay. She is so funny. You you know you you'll have her lying down on her side, and you put her head up on your leg, and you have your hand like that, and you know you're you know, rubbing her. She'll take that old tongue and she'll run out there down on your hand. <laughs> she'll just taste of you while you rub her and pat her. I'm gonna try to lick you. She just flops that old tongue out there on. Disgusting one. Yes, she is. She is a disgusting <clears throat> old creature. That thing sitting on that white bowl, that's not your thing, is it? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Another eating picture. <laughs> Another eating <laughs> orgy. <laughs> Pay you to figure it out. <laughs> well, y'all just come in from bird watching and stuff. I just thought you threw your stuff down. <laughs> I hate that thing. Oh, it's a horrible eating. <laughs> I think it zoomed in on you too, Mom. Yes, put me right at it. <laughs> oh. Well, you're the lady of the hour. I might look for it in that corner again, so I didn't put it over there. <laughs> <laughs> I need to put it like up there on that top step. Have it tilted down. Maybe a good place. Just so it's not looking right at me. <laughs> well, maybe this won't be so bad at all. The one from the side was awful. <laughs> <laughs> Why was it awful? Well, I just, well, I just said, I just, it was, it was well. <clears throat> <laughs> Our gas station going to be open up here today? Hmm? Our, Our gas, gas station going to be open today up there? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You about 100 miles left from me. Well, well get, get it in Georgia. It'll be a few, a few cents a gallon cheaper. In Macon, when we left, it was $1.28 a gallon for the cheap stuff. Dollar forty nine gallon up here. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> what do you pay, son? About a buck fifty. Yeah. Mm. The cheapest I feel. Wow. Yeah, Jordan's always, always been the cheapest. Remember where I've been in the south. <laughs> you know, by twenty or thirty cents, it's been cheaper. Mm -hmm. 
A couple years ago, I got them like 78 cents a gallon. A couple years ago. Yeah. And it was still like, you know, a dollar or something up in Virginia. Mm. It's not a dollar. I mean, it was and they're right on the coast where. Yeah, I understand. They must not it's have any just uh, taxes, I guess, they charge up there. Yeah, and they, they, they may not have any turnips there. The reason it's so cheap mm -hmm. around Atlanta here is they've got all those pipeline terminals, you know. Mm -hmm. And the gas comes right out there and they don't have to haul it. They have to haul it a long way up to here. Want some more food? <laughs> I'm not going to eat anymore. <laughs> 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 I'll wait till dessert. I'll zoom in on you then. No, we'll zoom in on Marion. No, you won't. <laughs> Let's see the back of his head. I want to comb my hair if I know that's on television. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Philip, tell me, tell me how that last scene in, in your second video that we had, <clears throat> you were standing on the hood, was that plane? Taking off was it landing or just doing a flyby? Taking off. <clears throat> yep. Was that planned? Yep. Yep. That, that was one. Has the new um, <clears throat> River Man done anything? Um, outrageous. Worth um, worth his salt? No, nothing outrageous. He comes to the that Tiger Cruise Air Show. Uh, he was out there running around with flight tech. Um, right up. Do the other squadrons have mascots? Uh, one squadron, like just two years ago, started copying us. They they have a little rip checkmate man. They call it. He's pretty stupid though. A <laughs> ripper man rip off. <clears throat> I'm not sure if they still have him or not. I haven't seen them do anything. Now, when you get into your new squadron, you'll have to come home one one of those times and get mama to. Do your squadron on your back wheel cover back there? <laughs> make your squadron. I thought about that actually. Well, yeah, mom probably make mom it eat out of a dog dish or something. <laughs> what <laughs> Nessa? Mom probably make it whatever it is eat out of a dog dish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, she wouldn't. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Of course. If I'd known I was going to be recorded, I'd bet on something besides. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> Army shirt. Oh, man. She's been wearing her Navy shirt all this time, mm -hmm. don't you? You'll be proud of your mama. Oh, crap. She's been wearing that Navy shirt every day. That's a pretty shirt. I'm going. Yep. I didn't intend for it to be for yard work, but. Looks like you didn't mess it up. It's undamaged. I like those shirts too, Phyllis. Those, those colors come in. I've got a couple of your cast off shirts, you know, that I have those colors on. I enjoy wearing them. They go good with khaki pants. Mm hmm. Too bad I don't like wearing khaki pants. Mm -hmm. The shirts that y'all have on, y'all match real well. Look mm -hmm. how you match them. Philip wins in okay, and then I have mm -hmm. the splashing thing. <laughs> you know, I, I told Claire the other day that we was in a doctor's office, and this older man. He was probably my age and could have been a little bit younger, could have been a little bit older, but anyhow, came in wearing jeans, you know. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've never in my whole life had a pair of blue jeans or Levi's. I've never, I've never worn a pair in my whole life. Mm -hmm. So I guess that makes me an odd one. You had some jeans shorts then, though, right? I had a pair of shorts that I've cut off, yeah. <clears throat> but I never wore those pants. I never wore them as pants. Mm -hmm. One pair that I wore uh, because I uh, worked in them. You know. I don't know where they came from. I have no idea where they came from. I thought from. you never wore them. You worked in the pair? The shorts. Oh, the shorts. Yeah. Aren't you curious to have them to see what it's like? No. Nope. Yeah. Of course, you know what I always heard about Levi's. Hmm. Cheap hotels. Well, I hadn't heard that. You know how a pair of Levi's is like a cheap hotel? Hmm. A ballroom. Right, right. right. I'm sure that ain't so or they wouldn't be so popular. Ain't that right? Okay. I'm just telling you what the joke is. It got recorded. Oh my wife's right. <laughs> <I> got that. <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm sorry.
Be sure and bleep that. I'm um, sure that's going to be the worst thing on the video. <laughs> my camera. Bleep. Mm. Still a couple of tables downstairs that the one you boys need one. Tables? In, in tables and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, There's a full mica table down there that you could use as a work table. Anybody want that? We've got room going right now. Oh, I know. Okay. That's much more presentable. Sort of. <laughs> Just been wearing it three days. <laughs> <laughs> I can borrow one of those axes from you. Good. <clears throat> take, take an axe if you need it. What, whichever one you want. Take it. <clears throat> Now, there's a couple down there that got poor handles in them. I know, there are two of them. I'll leave you the, I'll take like the biggest one. All right, the heaviest one. Okay. Now, there's also a wood splitter down there. Can you use it? Okay. Yeah, I'll use the axe. Pardon me? I'll just use the axe. Okay. That's great. Please take whatever, whatever you see down there you can use, please take it. The fellow that sold us the lawnmower came over here. And I gave him all that extra lawnmower parts down there. And I gave him a great big old fan oh, yeah. to go in his building. And he had, he had a little scrummy little fan in there trying to cool off that great big old building. So I gave him that great big fan I had. It's a 52 inch fan. A great big old fan. Blades were this wide. Mm. He was happy to get it. And a squirrel on the feeder. Yeah, oh, that's, really? yeah, that was what I, that's mainly what I made it for. But they won't come over there while, while Happy's out in the yard. They must have learned that Happy is pinned up sometimes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and, and, and it's many squirrels around here. It's so hilarious to see them jump off the tree. That's where you put that rope there. They hit that slick feeder mm -hmm. and scoop right off out in the yard. He's, <clears throat> he's all fuzzy. He's got his winter coat on. Has he got uh, wolves? Can you tell if he's got a wolf? A what? Wolf in him? A, wolf, okay. a, a wormhole Big old in worm. over chest. No, I can't throw that. I hate those things. I do too. It's disgusting. They're molten. Yeah. Kind of warm up. Fly. They sometimes fly and leave an egg in there. Yeah, and then it develops and it gets that big. It'll get that big. Does it kill them? No. No, it mm -hmm. just makes them disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> they do it to cats. My cats used to, when I was little, yeah, my cats would get them. You have to be careful because they don't. People get them? Oh, well, I guess people wouldn't put up with it. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard of a person getting them. Or else we suck out with straw. Mm -hmm. Never heard of a person. <laughs> I wonder how long old Jerry lived. The squirrel. That is a mystery. I want, I think he might have. Died from a heart attack and then he hit the, <laughs> hit the bushes, you know. He nah, might have died. She... <coughs> he had any nuts, dude. I mean, it was, no, it was a girl squirrel. Now, a friend of ours, George Muir's daughter, has a, a male squirrel that they, they'd had in captivity for several years. And uh, it would get in rutting season. His Testicles know it swell way up and he he was mean. They said he couldn't do anything with it. He was that alone. <laughs> <laughs> he was mean. <laughs> Poor thing. Mm -hmm. And we had a dog came through here the other day that uh, I don't know if Happy was is her time. Although she's been spayed, I don't know if it was you know, for body or urine or what have you, had a, a different smell. But boy, that dog tore her up from all angles. <laughs> Couldn't mate with her, but he sure did hunch all over him. <laughs> Poor old fella. He'd get her down on the ground. She, you know, he'd just, just roll her right down on the ground. Yeah, like Hunter Junior was humping Ray on the head. <laughs> <laughs> well, this dog didn't pack you that way, bless his heart. I told the player, I said, got the wrong end. <laughs> I thought he could roll the tire out there and he would hump that. Yeah. Well, I think this dog humped the handrail out there. <laughs> That got recorded, 
Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Good thing you kept mom in the house. My daughter <laughs> <didn't>. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, you have to be careful around Hank. You'll be walking along, she'll ram her nose right up your this bitch's is, leg. How about turn off your leg? <laughs> well, it's off. Let's see. Let's see what you got on it. When'd you turn it off? Is it not on? No, it's not on. It's not on. I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> you got a son you can't trust. You. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Oh. Let's look at it. Uh, well, how much more? Well, you do know you what? It's on everything you said is on it. Well, how much more of this do you want? How much more? <laughs> uh, is that enough of this? Maybe. Well, I'll uh, eat the chocolate again. Okay. So it'll be a little bit more pliable. Is it right there, Peter, while the squirrel's out there? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't seem to mind. Now, the, uh, if the dove comes out there, like. the squirrel will take off. Why wow, the dove beats up the squirrel? Well, I think it's so big. You know, they come in with their, their wings spread and all yeah. that kind of stuff. That it might, it might push them off. Now, I haven't seen him out there lately, so I don't know if he's still doing that or not. What the crap? I gave him a heart attack. Mm. Good. I wasn't about to stick around. No, wait, look, I think Bill's got his little face. You can get his little face. Yeah, I'm getting all you, actually. Hey, buddy. He's being uh, so good. <laughs> there for a burping? Yeah. Hmm? Got his mommy hair off of him. Oh. Well? Did you get that? Yeah. Burp. That was technically a burp. That was an air bubble coming up. Mm -hmm. You put both cats out, honey? Here's some chicken scraps. Good. Come up here, get a little higher. See if we can't get it out. 